Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Thor Ragnarok, the third Thor film in uh, Thor's story, uh, or the 17th Marvel Cinematic Universe film, which I think is more easier for everybody, uh, maybe, <laughs> for those that are following anyways. Uh, so let's get right into this, guys. This was a really, really fun movie. You probably heard so many people uh, talking about it already. Uh, I'm late to the game because unfortunately Disney doesn't invite me to some of their uh, movies uh, or to any of their movies so I can't get an early screening so I can only talk about it now and that's fine because I experienced it with an audience the audience was loving it it was funny it was great uh, so many great moments which I'm not going to spoil uh, let's get to the star himself Chris Hemsworth as Thor it was great to see him uh, back in this role. Obviously, throughout the Thor films, we have seen uh, Thor's funny side once in a while. Even when you go back to the first Thor movie, there are some funny moments with Thor. Uh, the, the one that comes to my mind the most is <laughs> when he's in the hospital and like the, the, the doctors are all trying to hold him down. But he, and then they put the needle in his ass and he's like, you know, there's some good comedic timing uh, throughout that entire uh, film or when he's like taking a picture with Darcy or something like that. Chris Hemsworth uh, has really nice comedic timing and he's done some comedies recently, you know, where he's proven that again. It's not just in the Thor movies. It's in other movies, too. And funny enough, some of those movies sucked. And um, like the Vacation remake, uh, that movie was terrible. But Chris Hemsworth was actually a highlight in that film, was actually the only thing funny in that movie. And I would even say Ghostbusters. I know a lot of people didn't like the Ghostbusters movie. I was actually one of the few people that enjoyed it. And uh, I will say Chris Hemsworth was, again, the highlight. I think he was the most hysterical character in that movie. Um, and so making Thor more funnier just makes more sense for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I think it really works well here. And, I, you know, I think some people are worrying others that this is a flat-out comedy. And, yeah, it, it is a really funny movie, but there are moments where they know uh, to tone it down a little bit. Uh, so it's not... A, it is a comedy. It's an action-adventure comedy, uh, if you will. But they know when to do the action adventure parts and tone down the comedy just for those moments uh, a little bit. Because, yeah, there's only so much comedy you can take. But when the comedy does come, it really works well. And it's not just because of Chris Hemsworth, but it's because of all the actors, uh, to be a, a matter of fact, including the Hulk, who uh, comes later on in the movie but i will say that when he is there he is probably the funniest take on the hulk to date and like the hulk has stolen the show from the avengers before but this is probably his best on screen uh time <laughs> i really enjoyed every moment the hulk was there and i actually hope to see a little bit more of him this version of the hulk in avengers of video war if they can make it fit that tone, whatever that tone of that movie will be. Uh, Loki is back as well, the god of mischief, who is being mischievous once again. And uh, he's great. Valkyrie is a nice new addition to the movie. I thought she really was a badass character, and I really loved learning about her as much as we did. And uh, I hope to see more of her in the future. I think she's a great character that could be a great addition. Now that they're talking about this all-female Marvel film, I'm like, hell yeah, make her the leader. I'm ready for more. Uh, and then we also got Kate Blanchett as Hela and Carl Urban as Scourge. And uh, I, I thought I thought Hela was kind of weak. I saw a little bit of Scourge that I, I was starting at the end to like a little bit but i felt it was a little bit too late hella was a good villain i just felt and you know wait kate blanchett was perfect in the role i just felt the character was underused and that's a complaint that goes with a lot of villains in the marvel cinematic universe not so much on my end but i know a lot of people have issues with 
uh, the villains of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a lot of them, aside from Loki, who everybody can agree with, uh, is one of the is the best villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, Hela, to me, would go in that category of not so great. Uh, it's not that she's not that interesting. They try to give her a backstory, but again, it's so little, and she's so not much really in the movie uh, that it's a little bit too late. I actually feel Jeff Goldblum has a bit bigger impact on the movie. Uh, because of where he is and how he plays into things, um, which I, you know, I Jeff Goldblum he, he goes full Goldblum in this movie, so you know what to expect from him, and he fits perfectly right into it. I gotta also say the look and feel of this movie is really interesting and cool. Uh, I really do like the vibrant colors, how big and colorful this movie is. Uh, I would say it has a little bit more in common with Guardians of the Galaxy on that front uh, with the look and uh, the look of it. Uh, the feel of it feels more very 80s-ish vibe. Now, I know a lot of people have been comparing it to Flash Gordon. The movie I can compare it to uh, is maybe Tron a little bit, the original Tron film uh, back in 1982. Um, so... It, it definitely is very different from the original Thor films, the first two Thor movies, uh, where those two kind of had a more dramatic, epic approach. This definitely feels a lot more out to there, um, if that makes sense. It, it definitely is a lot more wackier and crazier than the previous Thor films. It might get a little... Uh, taking used to for some people. I can see some people maybe being turned off by it, but if you just go with the comedy, I think uh, you'll really get into it a lot uh, because I do think there's a lot of really good jokes in this movie. Some jokes even call back to previous films, if you will. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I actually took a relative of mine to come and see the movie. And he hasn't seen all the Marvel Cinematic Universe films. And he was a little confused with some of the jokes and some of the the, the plot points. Or some of the stuff that they brought up that were references to previous films. He ended up liking the movie still. But I could tell if he watched those other films, he would have enjoyed it a lot more. Um, so I will recommend this movie to people who definitely are fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think fans of this universe already will really appreciate and love this movie. Uh, if you are not, I'm going to have to subtly recommend it. Uh, just go in knowing that you might be a little confused at times. Uh, but I think for the most part, I think you'll still enjoy the story and the humor uh, at when it's not referencing previous events from other films. Uh, so with that being said, guys, I'm giving this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, the Thor character is one of my favorite event. It is he is my favorite Avenger, and when you add Loki on top of that, you know you have my favorite Avenger and my favorite villain of the MCU. Uh, it goes well together, and I thought this was a nice way to tie Thor's trilogy uh, with a complete bow. Uh, so with that being said, I go. I hope you guys that are watching this comment below and tell me if you've seen the movie and really enjoyed it. Uh, what's the rating you would give it? And uh, like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.